Paul Reed, a.k.a. B-Ball Paul, is living up to his nickname. The reigning G League MVP is spending his off-season in the gym. Where does Out the Mud come from originally? Out the Mud come from when I was in the G League. And, you know, I just had to separate myself some way, somehow, from everybody else. I try to live by that, you know, get it out of the mud. Don't wait for no handouts, so. Paul Reed spoke his muddy mantra into existence during the 2021 G League season. Paul Reed is just holding his own dunk contest. A human highlight reel. Reed, you see the footwork, and then the reverse flush. Paul Reed's activity has been excellent. Look at the sweat on Reed. Shows you how hard he's working. I'm working too. You, you small though. I got a lot to do with it. That's crazy. You don't sweat like I do. I'm going to exert more energy. Hey. Come on, man. What I really want to focus on a lot is, um, you know, my passing ability, uh, my shooting ability, you know, just being more consistent, you know, getting stronger, you know, being able to finish around the rim against bigger players. Moving guys out the way with with these new muscles I'm finna have. Stuff. <laughs> B-ball Paul is putting in the work, and he's in good company. He and fellow rookie workhorse Tyrese Maxey have established a reputation. Uh, there's nobody that outworks him. I've actually him and B-ball. Uh, Paul, the two hardest working kids, two hardest working young guys that I think I've had in my coaching career. Um, and that's, a, that's, that's saying a lot. Summer League, you know, definitely want to win Summer League, be a champion in Summer League, definitely Summer League MVP. But another thing I want to do is average a triple-double in the summer league. I think if I did that, uh, that would like, take my game to a whole nother level, but that's tough. There's hard workers, there's really hard workers, and then above that, there's Paul Reed. Uh, his work ethic is unreal. Uh, you gotta kick him out of the gym, and when you kick him out of the gym, he sneaks back in. You know, I wanna be different. So I try to set goals that nobody else have achieved. You know, sometimes it's like unrealistic to some people, but you know, if you set the bar high, and you get close to the bar that you set, if the bar is set high enough, you will see like everybody's expectations. And you know, that's that's my thought process when I'm setting goals. How does it 
feel to be called B-Ball Paul? If I'm watching the game, like a rerun or something, I'd be like, dang, they really be calling me that. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty unique, right? Yeah, it's pretty unique. Kind of separating me from everybody. <laughs>